Father, Lord, today is day five of this prophetic fast. Unto you be all the glory. You have, drawn, you have done great things by spiritually reconstruct our life. Thank you for time that we have been waiting on you. Thank you for the testimony that we follow. Thank you for the life that will be turned around. Your name and only your name be glorified. In Jesus' precious name. Put your beautiful hands together. And please, you may be seated. Hallelujah. I congratulate you for being part of this prayer and fasting of this fourth month. The Lord will give you an answer. The Lord will answer the prayer you have prayed. I'm not sure you have prayed for something tangible. I said the Lord will give you answer to every of your prayer. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Praise the Lord. I said praise the Lord. Your life will turn multitude to Jesus. Your life will turn many to Jesus. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. One of the greatest testimony that a believer can have is that his life is turning many to righteousness. That your life is turning many to righteousness. Praise God. Your life is drawing people into the kingdom of God. Your life is causing men to have a change of position. Amen. To have what? A change of positions. That's the greatest testimony. The greatest te testimony is not the car you and your family is driving. The greatest testimony is not the house you have built. But the life that you have built. Amen, the life that you have built. So I want to, as a way of welcoming you to this service, begin to look at your life and ask yourself, how many life is my life is a seed to their current life? That's why I get angry when I see some of you acting greedy or selfish. Nobody wants to know your plate number. But everybody want to know how your life have changed their own life. That's the greatest testimony. That's why it's the Bible says it is more blessed to give than to receive. What are you giving the society? How many people are benefiting from your life? How reflective is the Christ that dwelleth in you to your surroundings? And therefore challenge every one of us as we wait on the law. You know, talking about fasting, God speaking in Isaiah chapter 58. Be very fast. You serve us on the machine today. Isaiah 58. God began to talk about the kind of fast that he has ordained. Isaiah chapter 58 and from verse 1. You need to be doing practice at home. Not only when you get here. Amen. Amen. It says, Cry aloud, spare not. Lift up thy voice like a trumpet and show my people their transgression and the house of Jacob their sins. He said, yet they seek me daily. How many times? Daily. daily. Everybody say daily. daily. And delight to know my ways as a nation that did righteousness. And forsook not the ordinance of their God. These are very serious things. 
you are ever taking communion, you are ever anointing your head, they forsook not the ordinances of God. The thing God ordained, they are ever fine doing it. They ask of me the ordinances of justice. They take delight in approaching to God. We go to church. He say, wherefore have we fasted? Say they. And thou seest not because they are not getting the answer they're supposed to get from their fasting. They say, God, you didn't see the fast. Wherefore have we afflicted our souls? And thou takest no knowledge because our life is not changing. He said, Behold, in the days of your fast, you find pleasure and exert all your labor. Not his labor, all our labor. Some people will say they are fasting. When it comes to labor in, the, in prayer, they can't labor. Why? Throughout the day. They were busy carrying hard blocks. They were busy doing their own thing. There were no press, there were no spiritual preparation towards the labor. I know the labor God talks about. He said the elder that labor in words and doctrine are worthy of what? Of double honor. Are we together? Yes. Give me more voice. And what did he say? He said, Behold, ye fast for strife and debate and to smit with the feast of wickedness. As you are fasting, there is no remorsefulness. As you are fasting, there were no meditation. Lord, you were not calling on God. You were acting as if you are perfect. He said, ye shall not fast as ye do this day. If that is the way you fast, stop that kind of fast. If you ask now, we are waiting on the Lord, how many fasted and actually pray in the morning hour? How many fasted and pray in the afternoon hour? How many deliberately, consciously, table issues of their life before God? He said, ye shall not fast as ye do this day. To make your voice to be hard on high. And then he went on. And now began to declare the kind of fast. Apart from abstaining from food. This should be your focus. He said is it such a fast I have chosen. So God has his own choice of kind of fast. A day for a man to afflict his soul. Am I out to punish you? Is it to bow down his head as bluish? And to spread sackcloth and ashes upon him, we thou call this a fast, an acceptable day of the law. You know, in those days they would put ashes on their head and wear rags. But what is the fast? He said, Is this not the fast? that I have chosen to lose the band of wickedness. You need to engage during the day. We have one or two days to go. You need to engage. Oh Lord, what is limiting me? What mark does Satan have over my life? There is every mark of Satan around our life in every area that we are not doing well. You know what God said? He said, in the beginning, it was not so. An enemy have done this. Which area of your life do you feel you are deficient? Take it to the Lord. To lose the band of wickedness. To undo heavy body. And to do what? And to let the oppressed go free. Don't oppress anyone. Let them go free. Set them free wherever they are. And then I say, and that you break every yoke, every yoke. It is a time like this you sit down and say, Lord, why is it that when it comes to giving to you, I don't have delight in it? 
You know, nobody know you like you. <laughs> nobody knows what. You know, when they call for offering, your body, your body will just turn like a snake. This is the time you address it. Lord, it ought not to be so. You are a loving father. You are a giving father. Why am I not like you in this area? You have time to do every other thing apart from reading your Bible. This is the time to, to ask, to, to pray, God, this is not good. Amen. Amen. This is not what? Good. It's not supposed to be so. David said, I was glad when they say, let us go. Why is it that my feet drag to your temple? What are the forces behind it? Why is it that I love singing worldly song and I don't like singing kingdom song? There is a spirit behind every action. Lord, why am I in a rush when I come to your presence? You know, some people worship God with time. But movies, endless. If I went to the movie, get to the end, they be lamented. Oh! <laughs> it has finished, they rewind. <laughs> but when it is church, five minutes, you are tired, you are fucked out. Those are yoke of sin. And we need to take them to the Lord in prayer. Amen. We need to do what? Take them to the Lord in prayer. Amen. What makes me, oh Lord, not to be alive when it comes to spiritual things? Why do I get tired? Some people cannot pray for five minutes. Five. You see this prayer we lead. If you ask some of us now online inside and say repeat the prayer that they led, they can't remember. So God doesn't answer such prayer. He searched the heart. So the prayer is that is not in your heart is the one you easily forget. We have just pray for revival of our business, revival of our spiritual. Some people cannot remember. But if you ask them. What did Maraga said when he nullified the election? They remember. So the brain is alive to what is not profiting. I pray for every one of us that this short charge will help you to make the remaining day fruitful. Amen. Let me hear your louder amen. amen. Let me hear your louder amen. amen. I've prayed today and I'm alone. I'm just in my house and I've prayed. I don't need anybody to call me for prayer service. The same understanding receive it in Jesus' name. Amen. You know, people are not afraid to abstain from food. They are not afraid. They are not afraid. But to make the, to make the prayer and fasting effective, they are not interested. So that is why they are asking, and their life is also asking, why have we seek you in vain? But that shall not be your story. Amen. I said that shall not be your story. Amen. I can't hear your louder amen. amen. Let me hear a resounding amen. amen. I pray people will begin to find out what are you doing. Because they can see the result. Amen. They will no longer ask which God are you serving. You know, those are the, if you check Isaiah chapter, I think chapter 2. Those are the the thing that will mark the end time and those are the things that will show that you love the Lord. Amen. Isaiah chapter 2. You don't know the book of Isaiah? It's a click of button. Isaiah chapter 2. It says, the word that Isaiah, the son of Amos, saw concerning Judah and Jerusalem. And it shall come to pass in the last days that the mountain of the Lord's house shall be established in the top of the mountains. No mountain shall be compared to it. 
it will stand outstandingly outstanding. Amen. And shall be exalted above all the hills and all the nation shall flow unto it. Until our life begin to demonstrate this, we, have not, we are not in line with God. Because every city Jesus entered, there were crowd following him. Every compound you leave, people will begin to follow you. Amen. Let me hear your amen. amen. And many people shall say, shall go and say, come ye and let us go up to the mountain of the law, to the house of of the God of Jacob. This is God. We want to go there. We want to go there. That is, should be your target. Your target should be beyond you have a plot. Your target should be beyond you have a house. Everybody is having a house. I want us to begin to rejoice in what matter. In what what? Miracle, I believe in it. I preach it. But those, that should be automatic. That should be what? Automatic. You can't own a factory and lack the product. You can't own a factory and lack the product. That should be automatic. That should be automatic. But these are the things that matter. That your life is speaking positive influence to the life of others. That your life is speaking what? Positive influence to the life of other people. Your arrival is an arrival of joy to others. Praise God. I said praise God. That is what is exciting. And I see God getting that done in your life. Let us go to the God of Jacob. I look at what God of Jacob will do. He will give us the road map that made Jacob. The road map. He will give us the manual that made Jacob. And he will teach us his ways. And we will walk in his path. For out of Zion shall go forth the law and the word of the law from Jerusalem. I see that coming upon you in Jesus' name. I see that coming upon you in the name of Jesus Christ. That should be our desire. Work on yourself. You are a Christian. They ask you to pray in your office and people are sleeping. Have you met a drunkard that don't have different style of opening the bottle? They have diversity way. Some open with their teeth. I've even made the one that open with finger. Yeah, it will open bottle with finger. That is how expert. It's only church. People feel that they don't need to learn anything. He said, let us go to the God of Jacob and he will teach us his ways. One woman called me in Nairobi. It's a family friend. And he said, Pastor, which school did you took your daughter to? Because I watch you in the morning and she has grown very fast. She was not going to school. I said, no, she has just finished. He said, I'm amazed by the way he articulates scripture. You teach him? Do you do teach her? I said, no. I've never given the light one scripture to be read in morning glory. I've never. That don't read this scripture and say this. I don't have time. All I told her is, study to show thyself. A proof, a workman that needed not to be ashamed. Rightly divine the word of truth. So she does her study by herself. And she articulates her speech by herself. As a matter of fact, I don't come out of my room until it is my time. <laughs> if you like, fail. If you like, succeed. Elizabeth live with us. I come out when it is my turn. Praise God. Please begin to challenge yourself. Challenge yourself. Challenge yourself. You know, you, you, the, the, the Bible says you will live by this faith. 
the just shall live by his faith. Your faith, your, your living is not tied to the economy. So do well in the school of faith. Do what? Do well in the school of faith. Do well in the school of faith. School yourself. That's why you have the Holy Spirit. And one of his ministry is to guide you to all truth. And he said, write down prosperously because of truth. And thy right hand shall teach you terrible things. I see a new you imagine after this conference. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Our third born finished uh, from fourth, I think last week. I allow her to be sleeping. She has been sleeping for the past two weeks. I say, sleep, eat. And this morning I say, your holiday is over. Now and tomorrow you, ret you report in school. Which school? School of mentorship. Tomorrow you report. This is a profession. Accusation and growth of your faith must be taken like a profession. So by Monday, he resumed in my office. Because your life is not tied to certificate. Your life is tied to your work with God. Certificate may, may fine tune it and make you to excel like Paul. But as long as you are a believer, your faith is the lie, is your life wire. You let it go down, darkness will engulf you. So I talk to you all adult. Wake up. I say wake up. I say wake up. <laughs> wake up. Wake up. Wake up. Wake up. Wake up. Walk on yourself. That's why I'm advocating that. You get Bible in your car. You get Bible at home. You get Bible in your phone. Every few minutes you have. Take breath of life. Every encounter with the word of God is an encounter with the breath of life. For faith cometh by hearing and hearing by the word of God. Amen. They say when they saw them in Antioch, they knew that they have been with Christ. The one you are with will finally influence who you become. The one you are with will finally influence who you become. So it is time to marry the word of God. Have a holy wedding with the word of God. Hallelujah. Amen. I say hallelujah. Amen. It is my prayer. Your generation and my generation will draw men to God. We draw men to God. They will hold the hem of your skirt and say, we will follow you. We want to know this God that has kept you healthy. We want to know this God that make you, even though we are stealing in this office, you are never interested. The kind of shoe we wear never move you to join us. The world will soon get tired because money don't give satisfaction. Our world will soon be what? They will soon be tired because money don't give satisfaction. It is a new day for you. Well, with the remaining time we have, let's quickly move. Yesterday, how many of you enjoyed the service? Amen. Who will do service re uh, review for us because we have I've told you Jones, you have, I didn't include us there. Any meeting now, any meeting. Any meeting. Just prepare your paper from home. Put it in your car. When I call for it, you rush and bring them. Live ready. Don't get ready. Live ready. Praise God. So tomorrow we can have, Sunday, any time, service review. Amen. Amen. And I will choose which service to review. Either the one I've run or an old one, but you will review one. Praise God. I don't want lazy believers around me. They are the one who cause trouble. They are the one who want to use Luo tradition in church. They are the one. Because they have never put off 
<coughs> and salvation is putting off and putting on. I hate lazy pastor around me. They are the one who talk all manner of things. Oh, man, oh, I'm not well paid. Is it human beings should be talking to you are not well paid? Are they the one who call you? <laughs> oh, no, they are not taking care of me. Are you reporting God to me? I thought they call you man of God. <laughs> when did you become man of the congregation or man of the senior pastor? They will sit down and find out how to make things work. Your destiny is not in location. No. Your destiny is who you are. A leaking pot in America, even when you arrive, Europe, it will see the what? Until it is attended to intentionally. They will never find out why wow, things not working. They blame everybody. The same thing with believers. They blame everybody. Isaac was in Philistine and he succeed. Your business is not your problem. It is your relationship with God. Your business is not a problem. Your career is not a problem. It is your relationship with God. And Enoch walked with God and he saw no death. Every other person had death except Enoch. This generation, God is said to distinguish us by depth of our revelation. Amen. By what? Amen. Depth of our revelation. No more struggle in your life. Amen. Your life will blossom. Amen. Can I hear your resounding amen? amen? Every little, little barrier around your life, I command them to be removed in Jesus' name. Amen. In Jesus' name. Amen. I saw a young man selling CD on the road sometimes ago, and I bought the CD. And I put it in my car. It was in Tota, in Nairobi. I don't understand Kiswahili, but you could feel the power of God from the song, whether you understand or not. Please work on whatever you are doing. It is good enough if you can attract the blessing of God. It is what? Good enough. It's just a matter of time. Don't be in a hurry. Be patient. Only God knows how many messages I preach in a day. <laughs> Only God knows. Just be patient. Just be patient. Just be patient with yourself. As long as you know you are on the right track, just be patient. One day you will meet God. Amen. You know you can be living in an estate and going to stage every day and you will not know that your former, your classmate live in that stage. Because you don't have occasion to meet. But one day you will meet him. And say, Ah, Tony, you live here. And he said, Tony, I live here. How long? He said, Five years. Ah, and I've never seen you. Now that is how God is. When you are walking on the street of God, don't be afraid. Just keep on walking. You know, he told you, he said, If you faint not, you shall reap. One day you will encounter God. You and him will meet face to face. Amen. And the day you see him, your shame will be, will be a thing of the past. Amen. For they look unto him and they were lightened and their faces were not ashamed. Please just be on track. Amen. That's my prayer for you. And if you believe that, say louder, amen. amen. Now, we have a lot of time in our hand. Now, today... The first day, I told you that Jesus shed his blood in the first teaching. Jesus shed his blood in the, in the garden of Gethsemane to restore your willpower. That's why I'm telling you the truth and I lie not. It is only the sin you allow that happen after salvation. Uh, it's only the one we allow. And it's only the one you disallow that stop happening. The, Jesus is not going to die again. He's, no, 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 no. If you have not left drunkenness after salvation, Jesus is not going to die to come and stop the drunkenness. 
What did he say? It is finished. He finished everything finishable. Anger is only the one you allow. Bitterness is only you allow. Malice is only the one we allow. So Jesus shed his blood in Gethsemane to restore back to us the will, our will, the willpower that we had with God from the beginning that Adam lost. It was restored back. It was guarding versus guarding. And then yesterday we look at what? Uh, some people are not talking now. We look at the weapon of the blood in enforcing our unconditional divine release. And particularly yesterday, we look at the blood that was shed the second time. Where? Where? Uh -huh. Book review is necessary. They are looking at their notes. The blood that was shed when it was scorched in order to establish your divine release and excuses from all sickness. Someone, I love someone who, 103, verse 3, the way he put it. He forgiveth how many? All your iniquity. And he let how many? All your disease. So the disease are in number. They have roots. All. When you say all, number is involved. And I told you yesterday, it was given 39 stripes. From Deuteronomy, it is a law among the Jews that you are given 40. But because you may die, they don't complete it. But Jesus was given 39. And all sickness have their root in 39 ways. So every cane represents a root. Whether new, the Bible says nothing is new. Whether new sickness or old, nothing is new. That's why you see most sickness has to borrow from the existing symptom. As powerful and devilish as uh, coronavirus is, he has to borrow coughing from another lineage. <laughs> he has to borrow, what does he borrow? Fever. Riding of breathing problem, respiratory problem. He has to borrow them from somewhere. He can't come with a new one because Jesus finished all of them. Amen. Coronavirus is a repeater of class. <laughs> I don't know why you mind him so much. It's a repeater. You say, somebody say, Pastor, don't talk like that. You don't know what will happen. No, I know, and he knows. So leave the two of us alone. Every evil knows you. Paul, I know. Jesus, I know. Who are you? It's at the altar of knowledge that the outcome of every conflict is determined. Do you hear that? It's at where? altar of knowledge that the outcome of every conflict is determined. For you shall know the truth and the truth shall set you. I'm about to place one truth that in few years that will make you a millionaire in your hand. I thought I would hear amen. amen. Let's read Genesis chapter 1. Genesis chapter 1, verse 26 to 28. If you catch what I'm about to share tonight, your life will take a new turn. I say your life will take a new turn. Can I hear a resounding amen? Give me voice. Your life will take a new turn. Don't let anybody cheat you that, you know, there is a strong reason why you are poor. The only strong reason why you are poor is what I'm about to share now. It's ignorance. My people are destroyed, not because of the center of the devil, but because of the lack of the knowledge of God. For they shall not hurt, nor be destroyed in all my holy mountain. For the knowledge of God shall cover the earth as the water covered the sea. So absence of knowledge, especially the knowledge of the law, is what makes you a victim. 
It is the absence of the knowledge of God. Now, in Genesis, let's quickly look at that. Genesis, it says, And God said, Let us make man in our own image, after our likeness. Let them have dominion over the fish of the sea, over the fowls of the air, and over the cattle, and over all the earth, and over every creeping thing that creepeth upon the earth. <laughs> have you heard that? So, listen to this. So, at creation, write it down like that, God place and position man to be in charge of everything he has made. God places man or position man to be in charge of everything that he has made. That's what we have just read. There was nothing God didn't put under the authority of man. God put dominion or authority in the hand of Adam and Eve. God put dominion in their hand, God put right the two of them, dominion and authority. In the hand of Adam and Eve. Verse 27. Verse 27. So God created man in his own image. In the image of God created he him. So if you know how God looked like, you have seen how the original man looked like. Was God a failure? No. Has he ever run an enterprise and a crumble? No. no. So that is who you are. Amen. That is a picture of who you are. Amen. Praise God. In the image of God created he him. Male and female created he them. That's why you see today there are many women who have money more than men. Many. That's why I keep on telling women, stop thinking that marriage is a, is a kind of heaven. If I just get one man to carry me. Are you a loaf of bread? He, he blessed them male and female. If your husband is not prosperous, as his failure, remove your own success. Is there in the Bible? And what verse it? And he blessed man. And God, and what? And God blessed them. And God blessed them. How many of them did he bless? Tell the woman that next to you. Are you living like a blessed man in your husband's house? If you are married. Ask him. Ask him. Or you are ever sneaking and tiptoeing to check his pocket when you are not a rat. Any of us can provide. That's why I tell men who wait for their wife's salary, you are truly a failure. You are truly what? A failure. God look at your ability and what he has put in your hand and say carry another man, another human being that is equally capable. Do you understand what I'm saying? I know the woman won't like it today because they don't want to hear that. Food has finished. Have you have you finished? <laughs> huh? Unga has finished. Baba Jimo. <laughs> you also have capacity to supply what is finished. I want to get to that. And for the man, shame on you if you are sharing expenses with your wife. Shame, 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 shame. Shame on you. That's why women are rebellious. If we, share, if we share responsibility, we should share authority. How come and tell me you are the head? I buy one guy, you buy kerosene. Nonsense. Nonsense. 
It's a shame. I tell mama emphatically, and not today, don't say it's because you are a founder. No. I tell mama emphatically, don't spend your money for this house. And please, when you do so, he's hearing me in Nigeria now, when you do so, let me know. That's how it should be. You say, I talk, mama tremble. People must not just fear you because of the fear of God. <laughs> They must also fear you for your wealth. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So mission should not be because God wrote it in the Bible. It should be intellectually applicable for your wife <laughs> on her own and the children to submit to you. <laughs> now sit down. All you can do is to jump on the woman. Nonsense. Who are <laughs> All you can do, the one you don't need advice. <laughs> you should know that something is wrong. You should know what? Something is wrong. Terribly wrong. Because that one, nobody admonish you. <laughs> nobody admonish you. <laughs> I don't mind say, where does men, such men, get energy from? <laughs> because if I were you, the thought of <laughs> the thought of not being able to provide should cause malfunction. <laughs> I'm telling you the truth. I'm telling you the truth. You may not like my teaching, but that's how I think. <laughs> Thank you for saying loud amen. He's the only man who supported me. <laughs> how God was so angry that he reversed what he died for. Or you are not aware. He said if you cannot provide for your house, even if you have confessed me last week, I changed my mind. You are worse than an infidel. That's how God was so angry. Any man that is hearing me now and let this thing sink, there will be a revolution that he ought not to be so. talking about buying clothes for your wife. We are talking about feeding. And you are contributing for kerosene. One buy Roiko. <laughs> Say I'm the one that bought the last Roiko. You <laughs> shame on you, man. Wake up. Wake up. You know when you see that it ought not to be so, you begin to activate your provision of God blessing. He said he blessed them. Male and female bless he them. He didn't say somebody. Nobody took your own. That's why I keep on telling ladies. You are, sometimes you lady too, you don't help matters. A man has no job and he says he loves you. Send him on thinking college. <laughs> Tell him you cannot love me if you don't love yourself. The Bible says, thou shalt love yourself <laughs> and then love your neighbor equally. How can you love me to the point that you can't find your place in the economy? Mm. Ah. Economy of the nation. Budget was rolled out. <laughs> you know when they roll out budget, they tell how many trillion? Yes. And you can't grab enough for yourself. <laughs> Somebody say, why do we teach prosperity? The only way the church can get out of the economy for Africa, they will never yamak anything for churches. Yes, so we are depending on you to get God's portion for him. Yes, sir. From the economy. Yes, sir. Somebody say, why do we teach our member prosperity? What would I teach you? Poverty. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. I have to teach you prosperity. Because the church is depending on you to get his portion from the economy of your nation. Hallelujah. I say hallelujah. Do you understand what we are talking about? That's why we teach you prosperity. Because God said, through my prosperity, through the prosperity shall my city be spread abroad. That we have to teach you. The gospel that lack money will drag on the floor. For the wisdom of a wise man is never hard. 
Praise God. Are we together online people? We are not fighting. We are with you. But I need to tell men and women. Don't go and relax. My husband provide. You also have ability from God. To willfully supportive. To count it as a pride. And if you don't know. Who did God like you to among the animals? He liked you to the lion among all animals. God liking you to an, an, a what? A lion, eagle. There was no way he liking you to vulture. Not even for friendship. What does lion pride, what do they contain? Every lion pride contain four male and about five female. Who does the hunting? The female. Just to tell you, woman, this relaxation and all you are carrying is pregnancy every now and then. Lion also carry pregnant, but he still hunt. And the man protect. So God did not put us at the side of life. He put us in the center of life and gave us what? He put him in the garden and gave him what? Dominion. Everybody say dominion. dominion. Authority. Author I want you to listen very well. Authority. I'm reading from my notes to you. God deliver into the hand of Adam and Eve power to be fruitful. You see, when God says something, you activate it by believing it. And he said, and God bless them and said unto them, be fruitful so we can be. You can become what God says when you believe it. Be fruitful and in a short word, and prosper. Genesis 2, 15 and 16. God look at you. He didn't see failure. He didn't see beggar. Every begging spirit, we cultivate it when we arrive here. Every what? Begging spirit. It was not God. It was not so. It was not God that put it there. There are things we imbibe from our environment. Praise God. I said, praise God. I need to deliver this sermon to you. Are you in Genesis? Quickly look at that. Start thinking abundance. Let me hear your amen. amen. Start thinking of being in charge. Amen. Start thinking the day you will forget your money. This one that you remember even when you are sleeping. It's not the will of God. Are we together? God took the man and put him into the garden of Eden to dress it and to keep it. Go to the next verse, verse 16. And the Lord God commanded the man, saying, Of every tree of the garden thou mayest freely eat, but of the tree of knowledge of good and evil thou shalt not eat of it. For the day thou eatest thereof, thou shalt surely die. The authority and the power and the dominion will vanish the day you eat it. Are we together? Yes. Are we together? Yes. Now listen to me. I want every one of us in this service to begin to see ourselves competent, competent, capable of living a life void of stress. Void of what? Of, of stress. God told Adam, you that I put my bread that became a living soul, my friend, you have what it takes. You will eat freely, freely, freely. You will be able to dress somewhere. You will be able to keep a garden. Your garden will bear fruit and you will be eating freely. I want you to take note of that. When Adam sinned, by disobeying God, that authority and dominion was taken from him by his new master. You know the new master? 
Say it louder if you know it. Shout it louder. Say it one more time. The one you obey determine the source and the kind of power that you display. The day you disobey God, he had a new master. So Adam lost the original power, authority, and dominion that God gave him that should enable him to be able to be fruitful. That should enable him to be in charge of the garden. The power that was delivered into his hand. You know, power, you don't receive power, spiritually speaking, with your, with your stomach. There are designated places that receive power. That's why you see when Uhuru come to, to power, they gave him sword. Was he receiving it with his mouth? No. He was receiving it with his hand. He took the sword. He took the constitution with his hand. Are we together? So the power that was in Adam to dress the garden was lost. And it was lost to his new master. It was an exchange. The power he has in the garden, the moment he listened to Satan and eat the fruit, there was exchange of position. That was the day that Satan became in charge of this world. That was the day that Satan became Mr. in charge of this world. And I will show you in the Bible. Look at Luke chapter 4. Luke chapter 4. Turn there. So we lost our dominion through Adam to the devil the day he accepted to be his new master who instructed him. Are you there? Luke chapter 4. Silas, get on this machine for me very fast. Luke chapter 4 and from verse number, make sure you are not worse than her. Make sure you are an improvement so that I can emulate you. Madam, get up, get up, get up. Clap for her, even though she didn't satisfy me. She has tried her best. It's better than you, who have not tried. Are you there? Tell your neighbor, Frida is better than you. He has tried. Amen. Some of you should go there and learn that thing. You had my teaching in the morning. I was alone today. So if I have not learned, how will I have run the meeting? The light was not around. Mama was not around. John T was not there. I was alone. So I went for my things. So don't say belong to technical team. You can be technical visitor. <laughs> you also know it. Know something. You don't know where you will find yourself tomorrow. There are things you learn. Do you know I have my own phone? Eh? Silas, am I I bought two phones from the one. I gave one to studio. I gave one to myself. I don't use that phone. It's just in my bag. So that I can preach anywhere without looking for Silas. <laughs> when I'm in Nairobi, I'm alone sometimes. It's in my bag. I can do message anywhere. I, will, I learn it. I, you have to humble yourself and learn something. Just be growing stomach and be growing cheeks. Growing body. You will need many yard of material to cover, <laughs> to cover that body. <laughs> Praise God. You are a technical person. Go there. I love this thing you are doing here. I also want to learn. Tomorrow I could give you an edge in Europe for job. Or even your locality here. Don't just sit down. Take advantage to learn. Praise God. I said praise God. All right. Are you in Luke 4? Verse 4. I will read 4 to 6. I want to, something to sink into you. I have been redeemed. I can't go back. Amen. My salvation is established. Amen. And it's all inclusive. Amen. 
It's not one-sided. You can speak in tongue and you say you can't have money. It's because you have not believed the money aspect. Tongue is more difficult. <laughs> can play ruzad. It's more difficult than making money. If you can speak in tongue, I don't pity you when you are poor. No millionaire can speak in tongue. Call the richest in Kenya and tell him to meet me here for tongue speaking. <laughs> so what you could do spiritually <laughs> for tongue speaking, he will, he will poo poo here for you. If you can speak in tongue, you can make money. I'm telling you the truth. To speak in tongue, to be filled with the Holy Ghost is harder. Stop, stop taking yourself as if you are, you are dull-headed, you are not useful, you are just a pitiful object to walk around aimlessly. No, there are a finger of God that points in your life that you are unique. If you speak in tongues, come and shout hallelujah. Look at what it says. He said, and Jesus answered him, say it is written, the man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word of God. Is that correct? Yes, and the devil taking him up unto an high mountain, showed what? Show unto him all the kingdom of this world. My friend, you are not a slave here. All the kingdom of this world. In a moment of time, because he wants to take the power. And what did he say? Because he has the power. You see, you can't show what is not around you. He showed him. And the devil said unto him, All this power will I give thee. And the glory of them. Are you hearing that? For that is delivered unto me. What was delivered unto him? All the power will I give thee. All the authority will I give thee. Because it was delivered unto me. He didn't say I created them. Who delivered it to him? Adam delivered it to him. How did he deliver it? He gave it from his hand. Because God put it in his hand. And he gave it willingly. Somebody learning something here? It's not a shouting meeting. It's a meeting you integrate and it travel through your vein and knock out every symptom that make you look like you are so useless. I was like, how does a man beg money from a woman? Are you no more? How? You are not working. Your wife is the one bringing food. Where did you get the appetite? As soon as they put the food, your shame should fill your stomach. <laughs> If you know what I know, I'm telling the truth. All will I give up to you. For it's what? For that, that one, I don't have it. That is delivered unto me. And now that is with me, to whomsoever I will, I give it. Have you seen that in your Bible? So the dominion that was in the hand of Adam was given to the devil. My friend, follow me. So Satan became the man in charge of the war. You can only give what you are in charge of. So Satan became the man in charge. Satan became the commander of the power in the unseen world, unseen world. If you don't believe that, look at Ephesians chapter 2, verse 1 and 2. Ephesians chapter 2, verse 1 and 2. Are you there? You're on the way. Be there very fast before I get angry with you. What did he say? Why did you need a quickening? Because what belongs to you has been taken. You are now a weak person. And ye had the quickening. When? Who were dead in trespasses and sin? Go ahead. Where in time past ye walk according to the course of the world? You don't have your own power, willpower anymore. Whatever the world is doing. 
that is what we do. I saw somebody send me something powerful today, and I I've been laughing and laughing and laughing and laughing. They showed, I think that picture is from Nigeria. They show how women dress before Satan became a tailor. <laughs> I, that's what they wrote there. They say, this is how women dress before Satan became a tailor. And is that them making clothes for them? Very nice. Nice dressing woman wearing tie wrapper that rich hair. And then wearing, uh, we call it buba in Nigeria, that rich hair. And then carry their handbag. They say, that is how women dress before Satan became the tailor. It blesses my soul. Wear it in time pass. It is a fashion. But if you have your willpower, you don't have to wear it. Somebody asked me, why, Pastor, early in the morning, you do morning program and you wear a suit. I said, that is how you priest dress. We have our uniform. This one that you wear t-shirt and do all manner of things. And plate your head and put three earrings. No. <laughs> that is this way. Dress maturely. That is how pastor dress. Before Satan start calling me. I see sometimes some pastor will wear slim dress and sneak out. Not a weekend. Weekend is understanding. Minor meetings. Sunday service. Designer wear. Versace. Where any time pass, you walk according to the course of this world, according to the prince, look at it, according to the prince of what? Of the power of the air, the spirit that now walketh in the children of disobedience. So we lost that dominion. Amen. We lost it. And that is whom we became. Now you are almost there. Remember in John chapter 18, which has been our anchor scripture, Jesus willfully surrender himself. So, if he says surrender himself, that implies he surrender his hand. He surrender what? His hand. It was deliberate. He surrender his hand. And listen to this. As he surrender his hand, what did they do? the soldier begin to drove those strikes through the hand, the nails. They begin to drive them. As they were driving them, what came out? The blood. Where was the blood touching? That's where the revelation is. Where was the blood touching? Where was the blood touching? The blood was splashing on the cross and on the ground. Listen to me. The poverty of men is not in location. That's why when True Teach was reading that verse, I echo it that he almost got confused. The blood was dripping from his hand. That is the side of authority and was healing the ground for us. Was bringing healing to the ground. Maybe you have not read that in your study. Let me show you. Genesis chapter 3. Our time is up. Genesis chapter 3. I want you to see that. Genesis 3 and verse 17. Stop running your business at losses. You are doing it by disobedience. You are not supposed to fail in any business because the ground has been healed for you. Amen. Can you say louder amen? amen? Are you there? Yes, sir. And unto Adam, and you know God punished them according to their rule. 
If you read Genesis very well, chapter 3. The first person that received punishment was who? Serpent. The, first, the next one was... Uh, no, the next one was woman, the woman. And the last person was who? Was Adam. And you know that's how they committed the sin. It was Satan who brought the apple. It was the wife who received it. And it was the man who ate it last. And that's how God punished them. Look at what he said. And unto Adam he said, Because thou hast hearkened unto the voice of thy wife, and hast eaten of the tree of the garden, which I commanded thee, saying, Thou shalt not eat of it, cause is the ground for your sake. You can succeed in Bombolulu. You can succeed in a nation that is not yours. Because originally, that was what supposed to be. Isaac prosper in the land of the Philistine. Somebody told me the other day, Pastor, why do we don't travel America? Success is not in location. It's not in what? Location. The blood was dripping on the ground, bringing healing for you and I. That is why those of you who are arguing about tithing, well done. Go and read Malachi. What did he say will make you? I will make you a delightsome land. You begin to attract favor. You won't need to go to office to be blessed. It will no longer be the nature of your job. It will be nature of God that is at work in you. I was sharing with this man yesterday. After you left. That's why I said, only God know how many messages I preach. After service, he had another service. No people always think, you know, because I'm an assistant pastor, because I'm a junior staff, because I'm a gate man. No, 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 no. It is because of who is with you and whom you are hearing. You see, say, because you have heard the voice of your wife, not my voice, for the work, for the voice of God breaks Seda of Lebanon. He make the hind to calf. The voice is full of majesty, but not the voice of your wife. I don't like sharing testimony, but I can't do without sharing. I woke up yesterday. Somebody called me. Oh, ABC, this has happened. Happen. What do I do, Pastor? I was in my short knicker. And I was having a nice time. So I just picked my phone. This is what to do. This is what to do. The business cannot be lost. She might be hearing me now. This is the step to get this there to shall we pray? We pray. I say, You are winning the business. Go into the meeting. And she went in. She won. She won. So it's a covenant daughter. So when she won, she sent ten thousand to me. Do I have a shop? <laughs> this man, after that. This man called me. So where are you? I've not seen you for a long time. More than three months. But you see, my thought has to ring in your heart. You know why you are not getting blessed? Nobody remember you. Satan, delete your name. You need to take this knowledge and, and restore the deleted number. You know that a file you delete. When you go to Risaku Bay, you reinstall it. That's what Christ did. He restore you for blessing. He healed the ground for you. Stop being afraid of business. Yes. Say so you say that they say uh, doing empesa does not work. That is for order. For you, the ground was healed for you. Yes. So, that's another. You know how much you gave me yesterday, both in Kenya shillings and in dollar. I was walking out of this service yesterday, getting into my office. Somebody have sent me, after we watch her service, send me 35,000 from Nairobi. Do I live in Nairobi? But Nairobi was healed for me. Amen. Every grant has been. So yesterday, it's almost getting to 100. And I didn't do anything special. Just there. I'm not the only one who have that right. You have it. Amen. Tell your neighbor, you have it. Have it. Tell, tell your neighbor, don't go and collect pastors. So you have it. I don't know how much was your offering yesterday. Online, beside line, 
front line, back line. But I don't think what come to me was no more than what to give. So we don't preach for what to give. We have a covenant of reward with Amen. God. So when you give pastor thing, please humble yourself. And say, if you're not, you will not feed. Where were you when God was calling him? I was just walking with the leader. There, I saw that my phone, there was an alert. So I, while I was seated in my office, I said, let me check. It was 35,000. So if I preach two hours, you pay me 35,000. It's not a good, <laughs> it's not a good job. <laughs> it's not a good job. But look, all of you have it in your professions. Amen. Somebody can come and meet you on M-Pesa. It's M-Pesa. You say, we normally take money in heavy. How many flow do you have? Do you have up to a million? We'll be giving you a job throughout the month. Your land has been healed. Your land has been healed. The blood were dripping and healing the land that was caused for a man. Causes, poverty is a product of curse. And he said, without the shedding of blood, there is no remission of sin. That's why the Bible is saying, is it in Colossia? He said, everything that was contrary to you, he nailed it to his cross. Don't go and collect it. Leave it there. Say, my grand has been healed. Say it louder. louder. Say it one more time. That, this explain. let me close it. This explain why Satan will always want to talk to you as a believer. Say, you want to sell charcoal. He say, it can't work. If it won't work, Satan won't tell you. He knows the power you carry. That's why he has to use discouragement. He will show you everyone that has failed in that business. But you are not everyone. Your grand has been healed. Come and say, my grand has been healed. Shout it louder. Say, Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, I walk from now onward on, on a healed ground. So when they nail him, when they drove those strikes into his arm and the blood were coming out, he went straight down. He didn't went to his body. He went straight to the ground to heal the ground for you. To heal the ground. So the problem you have is your thinking now. The perspective you hold. That's why Satan will tell you, you say you want to do this business, you will see 50 people will tell you how it never work. Because Satan know your authority, the moment the blood of Jesus was going on that ground, authority and dominion was restored back to your hand. That's why he said, I will bless the works of your hand. Have you wondered why the whole Mark chapter 16 said, you will lay your hand upon the sea? Because the hand is a healing hand. If it's a sick hand, you can't put contamination plus contamination. Why do you say you shall lay your leg? Say you shall lay your hand upon the sick. It's not only body that is sick, there are sick life. There are economically sick businesses. That's why you lay your hand on those stuff you are selling. You touch the computer, stop being barren. Amen. You lay your hand. Don't you see when you bring document, I lay my hand? Because I know authority and dominion have been restored to my hand. I'm now in charge. It is no longer Satan that is in charge. Many years ago, I wish Pastor Carlo is here, but he's not around, but he can confirm. We're just new, 1997, in this country. And we're living in a house, all we had was mattress on the floor. We're using stove in Bumbululu Estate there. No fridge, nothing. We want to take cold water, we fetch the water when we are going to meeting at five, and we put it on top of the house. So when we come, we use sieve to sieve the dust and put alum. And then that's how we get cool water. Whatever he is, he's hearing me. These are truth. No television, no fan, nothing. Mm, I was told one day. He said, nothing in your land shall be barren. When they were resting that house for you, what, did, what are the qualifications of the house? There is water and there is electricity. 
I said, wow. So this socket, they are barren. No fan, no fridge. This is barrenness. I called Bella, my son pastor. Pastor Bella, prepare the blood, prepare the blood, prepare the blood. Thank God for a good man. He says, see no pastor. Now I found out of his own ministry. He prepared. He said, what is it? God said, let's go. We are living in a barren house. And he said, nothing in our house. All these socket, they are barren. And we are being charged for them being there. <laughs> started, after we sprinkle everywhere, I came and started laying hands. It's not, they are alive that is sick. And it's not sick of fever. It's sick of good things. Amen. Started laying hand on the socket, on everything. And after I lay hand, I said, let's go to the gate. We are, he said, we are ambassador of Christ. So the ministry sent us here on ambassadorial mission. I know how ambassador live. And after we finish, we relax. The third day, somebody called from Nairobi. Till today, we don't know the person. He just went to Mutaiga, met Bishop Lutayo, went to Bishop Lutayo. I said, I heard that some missionary have come from Nigeria and they are in Mombasa. I, I, the Lord have laid it in my heart to give them a video and a television. It was sent to us. Fridge came. Amen. And then, within the same month, one day, a man saw me standing at the front of Little Theater. I told you, this is a place of history when you invited me. I stood on the front there, waiting for how to get to Bomolulu. We were waiting for a taxi. And he said, God told him, buy him a car. The man was barely six weeks in our church. And he said, no, God, next Sunday, I will, before next Sunday, I will give him my own. God said, no, if you give him your own, everybody know your registration. I want you to buy him a new one. The gates will open. We be, you, are too, you are too modest. You are too modest. You, you know, you are too, <laughs> you are too social. You need to know how we are opening those gates. Gates open, car coming. Why are you ashamed and you know you need them? Then the man drove in brand new car. He bought it 410,000. That was a big money. Loaded with food, with insurance. If you close your mouth, your, the thing God has for you will remain in heaven. Call them down. Amen. With the knowledge that the land has been healed. I will give you the rest of scripture to go and read at home. Maybe she'll be able to catch one because our time is well invested. Don't come around me and, and tell me story as if I don't know who you are. That's why you always find a pastor and say, are you safe? Are you born again? That's the first question. Because you had all inclusive life. Listen to this. Deuteronomy chapter 16, verse 15. Get me one of it. Deuteronomy 24, verse 19. Job 1, 10. Job 1, 10. I read Deuteronomy 16. It says, seven day shall seven day thou shalt thou keep as a feast unto the Lord thy God in the place where the Lord thy God shall choose because the Lord thy God has what? Has blessed thee in all thy increases and in all the works of your hand because the land has been healed. He said, look at what he said. He said, therefore thou shalt surely rejoice. Don't let Satan slap you and close your mouth when an idea drops in your mind. Amen. The reason why he's restless and giving you all the proof he can't walk is that he knows who you are. He knows who you are. Job chapter 1 verse 10. Job chapter 1 verse 10. Look at what he said. He said, has thou not made an edge about him and about his house and about all that he had on every side? Thou hast blessed what? The works of his hand. The day the blood of Jesus flowed to the earth, your, the works of your hand, it doesn't matter the feet of endeavor, have received blessing. Amen. Has received blessing. And all his substance. Read, let's close with, uh, with Psalm chapter 1 and verse 1. Look at the man around you and say, I don't care how you look. Tell him powerfully. 
and I don't care about your explanation. One thing I know, the earth is no longer cause for you. As those blood were dripping, your healing of your land was enacted and authority and dominion was restored to you. Look at what he says. Shall we close by reading that together? Blessed is that man that walketh not in the counsel of ungodly, nor stand in the ways of sinner, nor sit at the seat of the scornful, but his delight is in the law of the Lord, and the Lord doeth it meditate day and night. And he shall be like a tree planted by the river water that bring forth his fruit in season. His leaf also shall not wither, and whatsoever he doeth shall rise up on your feet. Whatsoever. Are you on the drum? Stop saying this in normal job. Just give it your best. Just give it what? Your best. Just give it your best. The land has been healed for you. The land has been healed for you. Amen. Can I hear you louder? Amen. amen. I'm not hearing the kind of amen I want to hear. David, what is he saying? And that is a billionaire. A millionaire. What is he saying? But now you see somebody singing in choir. He'll be singing as if they are begging him. And he's the one that have the blessed land. But he doesn't know. He doesn't know. In the days of rolling, a believer sang national item on the on the one of the on the one of the Independence Day. He's a believer in church. He's a, he's a priest and worship leader. And he just sang the same national anthem that Rowling has been hearing and hearing. But that day he had it differently. Go and Google it. He sang that thing. He said, come, 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 come. You know how I think he passed on a few months ago. Come, 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 come. Give me the microphone. Sing it again. They did the parade together in his motorcade. The question is not your location. The question is awareness. There is no where a human being is that there is no ground. Mm. So wherever you go, wherever you are, where others are saying that it can't work, remember the blood that dropped on the cross. Heal your land, thy land. Your portion of shop is healed. From today, begin to lay your hand on your children. Amen. Because that hand carry power. Amen. The authority was restored. Amen. How many of you are blessed already? Wave your hands to the Lord and say, I know who I am. I am not a cast person. My business is not cast. Amen. Heavenly Father, we partake of this communion. Knowing fully who we are. As we partake of this communion on this faithful day, we declare that the nature of Christ, even in the wilderness, he was the Lord. Even in the grave, he was the Lord. My soul is magnifying the Lord. My spirit praises his name. For death could not hold him captive. Even in the grave, Jesus is Lord. So wherever you are, you are in charge. Can I hear your amen? amen. Everyone in charge say louder amen. amen. Now this communion is blessed for you to go forth from now and reflect a blessed man with a blessed land. Thank you, faithful Father. In Jesus' precious name, amen. Please, this word, go ahead. Take your seat. As you take the communion, pray for yourself. There is power in the blood, power in the blood, there is power in the blood, the blood of Jesus. Yes, there is power. Whatever I lay my hand on, no more failure around me.
is healed. He the walls of my heart is blessed. Taken this session. Uh, Genesis chapter number 8. Time for us to give. So, as we take the scripture, please prepare your offering. Even as we give to the Lord your tithes, your seeds for this season. In the name of Jesus. Genesis chapter number 8, verse number 20 to 22. It says, And Noah builded an altar unto the Lord, and took of every clean beast and of every clean fowl, and offered burnt offerings unto the altar. 21. And the Lord smelled a sweet savour, and the Lord said in his heart, I will not again cast the ground anymore for man's sake. For the imagination of man's heart is evil from his youth. Neither will I again smite any more everything living as I have done. Verse number 22 says, While the earth remaineth, seed time and harvest, and cold and heat, and summer and winter, and day and night shall not cease. Now, one thing that Noah did that made him enter into the archives of God's heart, for God to be able to say what he said, he said he builded an altar, and on top of the altar, he offered a sacrifice. Any time you, any time that you get an opportunity to get into the house of God, you should be able to know that what you're doing is approaching the altar. And any time you approach the altar, there must be a sacrifice for the altar. Life is not life without sacrifices. And one of the sacrifices that we do is to give our material possessions to him so that he can be able to take dominion over what we have so that we can have dominion over everything else hallelujah 
So I know you are prepared today. Every time you get a season to approach. Now, this is not just a season of approaching and coming. You are also approaching by fasting. Anytime you get a, 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 an opportunity to fast, you get an opportunity to pray. You should also organize yourself to be able to put something on the altar. Because as you are doing fasting, it is a, spirit, it is a what? spiritual practice that produces in the realms of the physical. So for you to be able to have what you want in the physical, you must always need, you, you always need to put something on the altar for God to be able to do something. I want to finish by giving you an example of my life. Anytime I get an opportunity to get in to the altar or near a man of God who has an altar, I always have to arrange myself to be able to present something to the altar. Don't approach the altar anyhow. Let me say it in Swahili. Usiene kwa madhabau kivyovyote. Preparation begins from home. Unapuenda kwenye madhabau na jianda kutoka nyumbani. Every service has a unique anointing. Every service has a unique blessing. Every service has something that God wants to release in your life. So for you to be able to get, there has to be something on the altar. Now, Noah changed the patterns of this world because he was able to build an altar. And not just to build it, he laid something on that altar and God accepted it. I want you to lift up your offering today in the name of Jesus. Anytime you get an opportunity, you give. You give. This is an opportunity. An opportunity to give in the name of Jesus. If you're giving through the phone, just lift up your phone. If you've packaged it in your envelope, just lift up your envelope in the name of Jesus. Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you for this opportunity that we have gotten to approach the altar. We pray in the name of Jesus as we lay our sacrifices, as we lay our offerings onto this altar. Lord, we, our lives shall not remain the same in the name of Jesus. We shall have a harvest. Men shall look for us. We shall have authority in our places of influence. In the name of Jesus, our life shall not be a place of reference of, of failures and people who have not made it in life. But we shall be a point of reference of saying, see what the Lord has done. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. Please give your offering cheerfully. In Jesus' mighty name. Thank you, sir. You are bigger than what people say. Up on your feet and demonstrate it. You are bigger than what people say, Jehovah. Uh -huh. You are bigger than any situation, Jehovah. Oh, you are bigger than what people think, Jehovah. Oh, Shout hallelujah. Declare that your land is healed. Curses are broken over my land. Amen. Praise the Lord. 
Don't forget, starting point to breakthrough classes holds every Sunday. And tomorrow is not exceptional at 1 p.m. That is Saturday. The classes we hold. These classes are designed for those who have just joined us, those who have just given their life to Christ, and those who are yet to be filled with the Holy Ghost. If you are in this, any of this category, be here at 1 p.m. Praise the Lord. Good news. <laughs> Him books offer. The way you move around, borrowing. I hope that's not how you are borrowing salt on the plot where you live. So for that reason, we have decided to splash the price from 700 or 1,000 to 500. Pick your copy while the stock lasts and stop giraffing the songs of God. Praise God. Go to the bookshop, you will get your own copy. Praise the Lord. I said, praise the Lord. Also, you can break your fast. They have snacks. They have chicken. You can feed your stomach before you go home. The time is coming. You won't finish this kind of service, and you are carrying sufuria at home. You just stop somewhere and take some things and go home and feel good. Praise God. I, I'm sure the women are saying, man. Yeah. Praise the Lord. <laughs> this coming Sunday will be the last. The climax of this Crown Restoration Seminar and it, that day is an anointing service through Thanksgiving service, and it shall be anointing for financial fortune. That grace, that grace that made Jesus not to lack anything is coming upon us. Amen. You and poverty will be eternally separated in the name of Jesus Christ. Let's share the goodness. Sure. Okay. All the days of our life, and we shall dwell in the presence of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. The Lord God is our son and our shield. He will give us grace and glory. No good thing will never hold from us. We are restored to power, to dominion, to honor, and to dignity. Amen. Tomorrow's service is unique. It is a fit washing service. Amen. We are not going to combine. We are not going to cluster the Sunday. Tomorrow is 3 p.m. Be here, it will be breaking, our com breaking with communion and coupled with feet washing service. Bring your children along. What a joy, tomorrow is a public holiday. Praise God. I said, praise God. What is the next to sing? It is my year of a crowning restoration. I'm pursuing the troop. I have overtaken them already. Without failing, I'm recovering all. Amen. Be blessed. God bless you. You are good. People say, Jehovah. You are bigger than what people say. You are bigger than what people say.